Good evening, everybody. Been out running around doing some errands on this rainy Monday. And I'm just below, probably about 75%, which means I'll be able to use the uh, high-speed DC charger here at Modern Chevrolet up on University. It only charges up to 80%, and then it goes to the regular slower charge. But I'm going to show you how this whole process works. So they leave their unit on outside of the building. have the level 2 option which is right there but as you can see they leave their charger on and see the DC pins on the bottom and gee you don't have a lot of light over here I just heard the car click. It says isolation test. And the light on the car is still amber in the dash. And the charger just clicked. And it says EV charging. Yeah, it's 70% in the car. And the LED in the car is now flashing green. But it'll charge up to 80% and then it'll ramp the charge back down to what a normal level 2 is. And the dash actually displays different when you're doing the high speed charging. You can see this says it'll take 14 minutes for the high charge. So to go from 70 to 80, it's going to take 14 minutes. And I'm at 118 mile range right now. So, I will be back after this is finished. And we're back. Should have about, just about a minute left of the fast charging. And I'll let you see what it does when it switches over once it gets past 80%. But the fast chargers, like I said, they only work up to 80% and then it goes to the normal level 2 um, kilowatts. Most of the time I'm coming faster, I'm only at like 90% from my daily driving. I had a little extra errands today. The green LED in the dash is flashing four times. Parking recording will now start. That's my thing called a dash cam. It records while the car's parked. Luckily it does. We caught two people at work trying to break into cars. And it's been a little over a minute. I think it's a guess on meter. And there we just switched over. 
So now, actually it's still charging at 21 kilowatts. I thought the uh, kilowatts ramped down at 80%. But we're still getting about 20 kilowatts in. During parking mode, motion detection recording. Two occurred. GPS connected. I think it just doesn't have a timer. I think it goes up to 80% with a timer on it. And continuous recording will now start. Yeah, it just doesn't have a timer after 80%. So we're still charging at the same speed. I may just sit here and let it top off to 100%. Not in any hurry. And I'll let Chevrolet pay for my charge. But if you have any questions, just post it below. And I'm back. Sitting at a 161 mile range. Should be right close at 100% and the charge should stop here just shortly. Um, last update on the My Chevrolet Android app it was showing about 96%. And that's when it was at 158 mile range. Looks like it's going up a percentage almost with every mile range. So we should be getting close here. And I only live a few miles from here, so I won't need to plug in on my level 2 tonight. I'm actually going to build a uh, charger at home that has two cables on it. Right now I have a Clipper Creek HSC40 that I use for my Chevy Bolt and my Zero SR electric motorcycle. They both have level 2 on it. And the new charger will be able to divide the amperage between the two if I'm charging them at the same time and like if the motorcycle finishes then it'll send the full 40 amp over to the car or to the motorcycle vice versa whichever one's full but if they're both plugged in and charging it'll divide the amperage between the two I'm usually never in any big of a hurry that I need to leave right away But I uh, found the charger on a website called Tindy. There's tons of DIY circuits and stuff, and this guy built it, and he's actually done a couple other different EVSC chargers. But priced it out two cables, the circuit, two contactors, the um, ground pickups. And current pickups, I think total is going to be about $500 to build it. I think I originally paid about $600 for my Clipper Greek. So I'll be selling that one. And the portable one I have in the car, that's for $110. Um, come to find out the internals are all labeled for $240. So it can actually handle level 2. So what I've done is I've made a cheater plug. And I've added a 240 plug on to my battery backup uh, inverter at home. So if the power is down, I can pull the car around and charge it in emergency off the solar panels at the, on a level 2 240 outlet. But someone had tore down the Chevrolet charger. It's the same one for the Volt. Well, actually, the Volt's a little bit different. It's a different housing. But everything internally labeled has 240 on it. It's got the legs there and everything. Shouldn't be too much further. I think I was about 163 mile range this morning when I left out of the garage. And it's 47 degrees. When it gets warmer, up in the 70s at night, I'll be back up to around 230 mile range on a full charge. It's not bad to be second week of February in North Carolina and 
We've only had flurries. I don't know if we're going to get a snow this year or not. Let's have a week of rain. And I've just been sitting here listening to the rain on the windshield. But it's kind of cool to be able to charge it 20 kilowatts. Had this same option on my BMW i3 before I bought this, um, but there were no local fast chargers. Closest one was in Greensboro, North Carolina. We have one here at Modern and one at Flow Chevy downtown off of Stratford. I think most of the Chevrolet dealers are getting it because they're getting ready to ramp up their electric car production. My next motorcycle, I may end up getting the one of the versions that has the fast charging on the tank. Zero has their ZFR now, and they've got a new one coming out that's going to have fairings on it. I think that was supposed to be announced this month or next month. Like I said, it should be fairly close. The meter can't go any higher. Because the bars match top and bottom. But here in Winston Salem, uh, we have Duke Energy. We pay 11 cents a kilowatt. So the car averages out, the Bolt EV averages out about 3 cents a mile in electricity. And my motorcycle is about a penny, if not 0.09 cents a mile. And the motorcycle gets about 120 mile range. But we have free chargers all over this town. And all the charge points are free. I have them actually close to work, so I'll go park in the parking deck. A lot of times on the weekend or during the week and charge for free at a charge point. But if you have any questions, just post them below. We'll let the video run out. And fast forward this until it gets to the end please like and subscribe share it with your friends we get new subscribers every day
Hopefully there's a charge. At a hundred and sixty seven mile range. And I just got my notice on Star that the charge in the Chevy Bolt has completed. During parking but mode, we will go out here and disconnect the charger. Oh, it was tough and rain. Okay, I'm going to repeat that just real quick. So it says duration was an hour and 16 minutes. And it charged 17.6 kilowatt hours and we pay 11 cents a kilowatt. So we will return the nozzle. And you have to flip up the little DC connector. And at home I have a connector on the wall. Over here, they just have you drape it up over the top. And they just leave it on. It's got a smart card reader. But they started leaving it turned on. And there is my Chevy Bolt. And I will head home. I'm only about five miles away. But I won't have to plug in.